couple of people have asked in comments about my settings and how I fly the KA50 Black Shark in DCS. So it is a quick video showing my settings. In the specials tab under KA50, I have the rudder trimmer unchecked. I have tri trimmer mode set to default and customized cockpit set to English. In my controls, I use four, four, uh, four devices. I use uh, Thrustmaster pendular rudders, uh, Thrustmaster uh, Warthog throttle. I've got a custom board there, and I've just realized my oh, bollocks. OK, so what I just realized there, um, my VKB gunfighter wasn't plugged in um, and I have a USB hot plugging turned off because that gives me a performance um, hit if I have it turned on. So yeah, I've got the uh, Thrustmaster uh, throttle, the Thrustmaster rudders, VKB gunfighter stick and I've also got a custom bottom board which is really crap and I'm not going to show anybody because it just, just looks it's just awful. Um, on my axes, I have. Um, I don't have any curves. I don't need that with because uh, I've got a stick extension, so it gives me a lot of precision. Um, I also have my um, Schwalzlu on a on a. Um, like a mini joystick on the, the stick but it's not a really good idea to have it like that it's better off for me I think I'm gonna have to change this um, so that's all my uh, commands I'll quickly show my cyclic so I have most most of um, my controls are on the on the stick um, I've got a couple of uh, controls on the um, on the throttle, which I use to simulate the uh, collective. Um, the most important button here is the trimmer. I have that set to the pinky on my uh, stick. Um, easily accessible. I use it a hell of a lot. Um, and for my collective, again, I've mapped a lot of the buttons to um, the stick and, and a few to the um, to the throttle the, there. For combat, everything I've, I uh, I need is 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 rigged up to these. Apart from the um, some of the button selections and <coughs> excuse me, master arm. Um, any switches like that that can be clicked in cockpit, I click them in cockpit. So that goes over my settings. I'm just going to stop the video. And I'm going to. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'll show you what I would say is the best way to practice uh, with any aircraft is to create a mission. So, that's my favourite airbase on the Syria map. I don't want to butcher what that says, really. Um, add in wrong thing. Helicopter. Set yourself as client. And put yourself on the airfield, park in hot, and then you can also go down here, close up, take the waypoint out, go to edit, select that, and press Control and C, and then just paste a few more around the airfield. So this first one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that with a really low fuel, and then the second one, I'm going to keep with just normal fuel. This one I'm going to put some 
some SA13s and some Vikers. And on this one, I go to put some gun pods. Now, if you just do a normal single player mission, then it's, it's really difficult to respawn a new vehicle. You have to pretty much come out of the game and then restart it. If you do it as a server, um, let's just call it that. that incredibly easy password I just stop this game while it loads so I can choose any of these aircraft um, with the different loadouts how I add them as configured in the mission editor but when I actually did I set it as, yeah if I crash, or I just screw it up like this, I can just eject, press escape, select roll. I won't pick the same helicopter because it's probably going to blow up in a second. And then, easy. And if you crash miles away, then you can just jump back into the same helicopter. So let me just um, jump out of this and then jump back into VR and I'll show you how I fly. Okay, so I've started the server back up and uh, I jumped in the one with uh, low fuel. So as I said, the thing I use the most is the trimmer. Um, to start off with, I'm going to hold the trimmer down, just push your nose down, you can see the pitch ladder dip in and then let go of the trimmer just to balance it forwards and relax the stick. And just put, um, yeah, you can put the undercarriage lever up um, before you take off. I wouldn't advise it in anything else, but this one you can. So just bring the throttle in. Oh, before I do that as well, I'll turn on the visualization of my controls. You should be able to see that down there. Okay, so you can see I'm a little bit trimmed forwards there. So rather than doing that horrible thing where you slide back on the tail when you take off like that. Oops, I forgot to put my gear up. That's why we don't do it. So trim forwards, release, just pull back a little bit, hold the trimmer down again, power up, and then just balance it out as we take off. And concentrate while we're at low speeds, I concentrate on the horizon and then I watch all the movement in my peripheral vision. So I can I can really see the movement in per peripheral there. Um, I'm still um, holding the trimmer down, so I get it nice and balanced. I'm still drifting there a little bit, and let it go and relax the stick. So the helicopter's trimmed out now, pretty neutral. So I can fly in two ways. I can either turn the autopilot direct to control on and then uh, throw this about a bit but this won't return it won't return back You're always constantly still flying like this. If I turn it off, I prefer to have the autopilot on. Um, you can use the track rod, the auto turn with it. I'm not sure if you can use that with the auto. Yeah. Let's try that now. 
before I make a complete tool of myself. Make claims that I can't substantiate. So my helicopter's turning onto that target now. It still does turn onto target. I'm glad I checked that. Or is it? Yeah, so my fear was right, it won't turn onto target. If I turn that off, straight away it's turning onto target. So I don't really like to use that. Um, let's clear that target. Oops. So now I've got the trimmer down and it's the same as flying with the autopilot director mode off. On, sorry. So we can f throw it about. I changed the helicopters, you can't see my controls. So just let go of the trimmer. Find my keyboard. There we go. Just trim it back a little bit more neutral. Okay. So, yeah, it's to how I fly, um, it's as simple as holding the trimmer down and just working the collective, using lots of rudders on the turn, I use an awful amount of rudder there and full lock there, look, you can really swing it down, swing it around with the nose held down, a little bit of side input. And it's I tend to be a little bit more considerate with my turns as well. I don't really throw it about, even though I don't have any um, pitch curve set. You know, I make the occasional snappy adjustment, but I would never sort of like do it all the way over to one direction or the, the other or anything like that. I mean, the helicopter will do that, but you'll probably end up snapping the blades. So, for practice, the first thing you really need to master is hovering it. I mean, I am still can't perfectly hover this helicopter, but it's very, very unstable uh, on its own. The lower you are to the ground, the better it will be for your, um, um, your peripheral vision on things moving. So. I'm pretty stable there and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the horizon but I'm focusing on I'm aware of all the rocks and, and all the little lights and um, the lines on the on the taxiways I'm aware of all of those but I'm not focused on them and once you get the once you get into a nice stable hover this is with the trimmer held down still just pitch it forwards and just try navigating around the airfield. So when I'm bored, I might just come on a server like this on it on, on my own mission, and just just follow the the taxiways round. Just don't be scared to push the nose forwards and bring the collective up. Drift it round some of the corners. Just do like slaloms around the airfield. Try and your best to keep the nose forwards. I'll show you if you if you tried what I just did then and you let the 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 tail stay down. It's it's really uncomfortable. It's doable, but it's you can see it's hardly any control lost loads of lift there 
if you keep the nose down while you're doing that sort of turn then you can keep much better control of the helicopter and don't be scared to crash especially with how I've um, set this up and you, you're not flying anywhere particularly far you try some steep steep corners out and so even though this is like quite crazy it's all still nice and gentle and on the stick making corrections just bring in the collective and even though I was heading down to the ground there you just bring the collective in slightly and uh, just ease out of it easy still from a combat uh, um, coming up to a, a, a situation so I like to get in close and I, I like to I always fight with the philosophy that I can trick a missile most of the time I can trick a, uh, like a man pad but there's no way that you're going to trick a bullet so I always go for the hard targets first so if there's things like tanks and SAMs I take the tanks out first because the amount of times I've seen like a missile off a t um, off one of the, one of the tanks and you just see it coming up to you in the cheval at, right at the last second before you die and you just you just can't do anything about them but the um, so if you get a man pad launch then you usually get a visual that there's a missile being fired and you can pop some flares and avoid it so when I'm coming close to a, a target so if I wanted to stop by that hangar there if I did it the normal traditional way just pitch back and see how much even though I've got the collective right back how much lift I got there and sometimes if you're close in you need to move quickly between targets so I'll show you that again how I would do it and rather than pulling up vertically speed up so I'd start to slow down a bit sooner drop the collective right down bank out and then bank right back in again and rather than using vertical to kill your speed use the horizontal to kill your speed maybe it takes you a couple of seconds extra to get the bead on the target behind the building because you've got to do a turn but at least you haven't got to be dodged dodging any sams or, or bullets or or any of that sort of nastiness so now I can just pop up dead down again so yeah in a nutshell that's all it is it's just holding the trimmer down the trim is still held down and when you want to get yourself set up for landing or if you do want to auto hover you just relax the trimmer get yourself into this accurate um, attitude you want and just keep correcting with the trimmer letting go hold the trimmer down make your correction let go of the trimmer relax the stick and do the same again a little bit more hold the trimmer down a little bit more pull hold the trimmer down this time because we're coming to a stop so we can let the nose drop and come over, release the trimmer, and then uh, straight into water hover if you're slow enough. So, I uh, hope that. Um, shit. There, janky maneuvers there. Um, avoidance of uh, ground objects is really relic relatively simple there the helicopter generates uh, a certain amount of lift just by pulling on the stick so I didn't really have to do anything other than how I would evade in a in an aircraft
There you have it. The black shark.